So, hey, I hope I'm in the frame. Uh, I'm back at my little shelter here. I'm gonna plan to improve it a little bit uh, for the winter, for the couple feet of snow we might get. Um, first I arrive, I have to uh, make some fire, get some food, maybe build another bench or something because I have stuff laying around, hanging around. That is not very suitable. So uh, I brought some extra bricks and we'll start a fire and I have a like a pipe like a dugout going in here that sucks out air in from outside into this fire so I can take those build them up higher in case I have ever an issue with really strong winds um, or any kind of sparks resulting out of that so I don't want to set this stuff because this is still dry so and I'm in the sun right now and you probably don't see much snow um around me but there there are a bunch of snowy spots where you just sink in a little bit and then you pretty much can walk barefoot on on super dry stuff so i'm going to start a fire real quick get some food and then think about how to improve the shelter a little bit more and yeah let's see how that goes i keep you updated all right so here's my i hope it works you have to there's kerosene in there and there's a little bit of a, a wick up front and a spark and there's a striker see Pretty good tool, but once you take it out, make sure you seal the top with your finger. Otherwise, all the kerosene comes out. Um, I have the fire's preparation. So I have uh, really tiny stuff and those that light really well uh, ready, hanging out. And then I have bigger ones that are like this that I crunch up. And a mistake a lot of people are doing is they're adding too much to it. They don't realize how high the fire will be um, once everything you put on is, is uh, burning. So I let this burn down and then I will add a little bit more. Otherwise my flame will go super high and I don't want that. That's why I brought, so this is hanging out here and I can just stick it into those, um, the, the fence pretty much and then it lasts so I can put a coffee on it or something I will do that in a moment and I brought those to actually make this wall a little bit higher So now I can pretty much just stoke the fire, make sure it has enough fuel for me to grab some um, to grab some coffee real quick or some water from the snow and then have a coffee. Maybe I should see. See, even if I put weight on it, it does not come down. And I have room under here to uh, add more fuel to the fire. Oop. 
So don't add too much at once. Otherwise you have a magic fire everywhere and it's really annoying to control and to monitor. Okay, fire will be good for a couple minutes. Let's get some uh, snow. All right, coffee time. Cold, cold, cold. Okay, that's it. All right, here's my snow coffee. Here's my coffee with coffee in it, of course. Ta da! And I've seen a lot of people wasting. Oh. I've seen a lot of people wasting coffee so uh, you can easily make another pot with the same coffee tastes the same you can barely make a notice a difference so I usually save it put it aside and use it again there's nothing wrong with it the third time at least it tastes like nothing but you can get at least two things out of it, uh, two big pots. So the advantage is I can stoke the fire from here, the wind blows through there, and I have a lot of heat here, but not um, direct fire right down here in front. That's out of the frame, of course. Um, but if I put it here and always keep the handle a little bit away, right, wherever you're gonna put it, don't put it in the middle of the fire, you're gonna burn your hands. That's stupid. So, so just keep stoking the fire. The wind works quite well down there. All right. Good. Let that run and And since I don't have, I have foil, which if you don't season them, if you don't care about them, you don't need aluminum foil. So all you, put, all you do is just put them where it doesn't get direct fire. And they're just a reflection of this wall. Just a reflection of this wall works out. See, and you can leave them there half an hour and they should be done. And even better, I'm adding this as a reflector. My potatoes are right under it. So, see what I mentioned? Once you stoke the fire, how much flames I get. And in the, in the daytime, you don't see the sparks really, so they can land anywhere, even behind you, and they start a fire with, a, with the wind. So, don't stoke it too much, right? Let it burn down, assess it, assess the situation, and then add more. Have some small items like just bark ready. That takes the flame quite well. Um, and then you can add bigger pieces depending on your situation.
tied up. Tie it up and coffee's ready. <laughs> Coffee is boiling. The thing with the coffee is, let it sit for a moment, and then you're good to go. Those potatoes they already get nice and um, nice and warm, almost soft. They take a long time, but it's worth it. It's nice. So, see, steamy, and it's about. What is like 15 Celsius? What is that in Fahrenheit? Well, you can Google the, Google the math, right? So, have a coffee. And I also find them. Yeah. Just brought some broths. And the cool part is, if the grid um, is too low, I have another small one. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah that I just stick wherever I like it to and control the broads that way. But I think if I leave them here somewhere, I should be fine. It's just really, really hot. Ow. Okay. So. Lunch and dinner, or brunch, I don't know what it's called. If you combine dinner and lunch, what is it called? Dunch? I don't know. Dinner? I don't know. Dinner, lunch. So, I just leave those here. Good. And I have a trash bag right away. My coffee should be done. The good part is, you take that out, put it over there, oh, it smells like coffee in here, that's camping. And then you don't have any of those pieces in there, so don't fill it up too much, this can keeps it really hot, so take as much as you need as you go, right? So don't fill up the cup, all of a sudden this is ice cold, it's really annoying. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's get to it. Man, that's the sun. Actually, I have what you see in my face right now is a cutout window of all those lean to here. So I have the afternoon sun, unfortunately, right in my face, but that's a big pine tree. Uh, there anyway and I can see better right so I just have to get up and I can look outside because otherwise it's hard to see through all this material and at one point where my jacket hangs I'm gonna enclose this wall as well and the stud I just installed uh, will help me to do so um, furthermore uh, Yeah, I want to put uh, a cover on it. Let's see if I can make that today. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm quite covered behind me, so there's not really a wind coming. The, the fire flickers because I have the tunnel draft. Um, so, but as you can see, I have stuff hanging everywhere, right? Uh, I need something like a platform, and I can build something like that that fell over last time. Um, this is just to cut stuff real quick, but one of those, and maybe I can put a little shelf in here so I can actually have stuff sitting there while I'm, and I don't have to hang it anywhere in the dark or uh, look uh, look where it is on the ground. And because of the ground, see, can you see that? It's really dry. So it's almost so warm. I have slippers on. And once in a while, walking in the snow, <laughs> I have snow going in on both sides, which is kind of refreshing. So as long as I'm moving around, those shoes are keeping me super warm and the snow is not too deep that I sink in. 
too much and need to worry about it. And I really expected more snow to be here. I almost consider that questionable for fire. Um, because everything that is not covered in snow is bone dry. So um, it is a potential fire hazard, but you always have a potential fire hazard. Um, that's why I built this wall higher around the fire. And yeah, I have a wind cover or, or yeah, a wind cover. So yeah, watch your fire, drown it. The first thing you bring is either a bunch of snow right next to it or a water supply and I have a tank sitting right behind the camera so that I can just pour wherever I need to, a couple gallons, if something happens. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my coffee real quick, keep an eye on the food for half an hour and then uh, working on the shelter a little bit more. First I had a different plan um, to use all those and tie them somehow together. So, but then they would just be hanging or something. So I need a certain kind of support. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on here, three or four of them. And that gives me 20 centimeter, 25 to put anything on it I want is really nice and all I have to do is just uh, tie them next to each other on those main posts that I just dug in and this one I'm gonna tie it really tight to this guy so and then we can move on so seems to work seems to be a good plan but my food is ready too so coffee's still warm almost gone I'll probably make another one in a minute and then I've seen people using plastic hate plastic you can't avoid it sometimes but why using a plastic fork and knife if you can have those and you can have them all the time you want so let's see my dishes are clean Halfway count and sometimes when you buy fast food you get certain packages of certain kinds the soy sauce mustard ketchup whatever you like just keep a few of those in your pocket this is just uh, mild spice and again plastic but um, I can dispose it properly. So I'm gonna have some food. Let's have a look. See? The cool part is ta da! That goes in my trash bag. Oh, since I'm seeing it right now. This tool is like the blowtorch, manual blowtorch. See? Um, one of the most important tools for fire, you don't get, so you expand it, you blow right into the charcoal and it flames right up. Saves you a lot of trouble, you don't have to put your hand in and guide your, guide your air or to get close to the face and then all of a sudden it makes poof when the fire comes up. So, and it's very central, so this piece is very thin. Uh, you can buy those. I used uh, an old uh, dust mop or something. That's why the plastic is still on, which is nice, gives me a good handle, it's never cold. Um, and I just, and I wanted it, uh, once it broke off or it didn't work anymore. So I broke the whole thing off, realized, hey, look at that. It expands, it's clean. And I cut the other end off, so I have a clean surface here, not, not plastic on my mouth. 
and this is way stronger than what you can buy and it's probably cheaper to last longer and stuff just keep in mind where you put it all right i'm gonna eat my first food here finish my coffee and i'll see you in a little bit It will work. Look at that. If I time right, I have a nice surface and I can expand it with any kind of boards I'm making. Coming out a little bit, I don't know yet, but that the good surface to put stuff on. And to start. <laughs>
not the best but it's stable it's not going anywhere so Ta -da. pretty good eh <laughs> 